In times like these, people need to be reminded of compassion. Sisse, flavor text of Angel of Mercy. One can hardly discuss the legendary skyship Weatherlight, its crew, or its adventures without mentioning the ship's captain. Sisse's time commanding this vessel was spent assembling the finest crew on Dominaria, collecting the scattered legacy artifacts, and battling against the forces of Phyrexia. Sisse was born in Zalfir, to a family that belonged to Urza's infamous Bloodlines project. The Planeswalker must have had a great degree of trust towards Sisse's family in particular, as he tasked them with keeping one of his most important creations, the Skyship Weatherlight. At some point, Phyrexia came to learn about what Urza was doing, how he was attempting to cultivate the perfect soldiers to fight against them, and decided to intervene. They launched surprise attacks against several potential sites of the Bloodlines project, slaughtering dozens of families across Dominaria. Sisse was just a young girl when the monsters came for her family. She didn't know what these creatures were or where they came from. Sisse had no knowledge of Urza, Phyrexia, or the Bloodlines project. All she knew was that the mysterious Lord of the Wastes had sent demons to her village to slaughter her loved ones. Left alone with only the weather light to remember her family, Sese would dedicate her life to seeking revenge on the one who orphaned her. She did not know about Urza, but Sese did know that the weather light was only one of a number of artifacts scattered across Dominaria. The legacy, which was rumored to possess great power when brought together. Believing this legacy was what she needed for her revenge, Sisse resolved herself to assembling it. Sisse would grow to achieve quite the reputation. As the captain of a flying ship, she was no stranger to fame, nor was she adverse to risks. The Weatherlight and its crew notably participated in the Mirage War, with Sisse lending a hand when it came time to free Mangara from the Amber Prison. During these early years, Sisse gained several noteworthy additions to her crew. Her first mate, Tongarth of the Tallroom, Minotaurs famous for their isolationist nature, Hana, daughter of the Talarian headmaster Baran, came aboard as a navigator. Krovax and Gerard Capuchin were fellow products of Urza's Bloodlines project, and Sisse believed Gerard was the man destined to wield the legacy in its entirety. But with the death of Rophalos, Gerard's friend, he became disillusioned with the legacy and wanted nothing to do with it, leaving the crew alongside a few others. Undeterred by this, Sisse continued on, still as determined as ever to complete the legacy and take her revenge on the Lord of the Wastes. One day, Sisse was approached by a man who conversed with her at great length regarding the legacy and its artifacts, sharing what he knew not only about their history, but where several could be located. This man, Stark Ilvec, was unbeknownst to Sisse, secretly working for Phyrexia, and his information was merely bait. Sisse was captured by Phyrexians and taken to the Plain of Wrath, where she was imprisoned by the Evancar of the Stronghold, Volrath. To save her, Tongarth assembled a new crew, 
bringing back the likes of Gerard and Krovax, and bringing on new talent like Urtai and Stark, who now had reason to work against Volrath. The Evancar had taken Stark's daughter hostage. Together, this new crew made its way to Wrath, battling against the forces of the Evancar and infiltrating the Stronghold. Gerard and Stark found Sisse and Stark's daughter, Takara, within the Dream Halls, alongside their captor, Volrath. Unfortunately, the two women had been placed under mind control by the Evancar, and fought viciously against their would-be saviors. Stark, unwilling to fight against his own daughter, was blinded by Takara, and Sese proved to be a vicious combatant. In the end, both were restrained, and Volrath was slain by Gerard, though it turned out the Volrath they fought was just an underling wearing the Evancar's appearance. After breaking Volrath's mental control over the two women, the Weatherlight crew escaped the stronghold and flew their skyship towards a planar portal, ending up on the world of Mercadia. Here, they would crash, with the Weatherlight being taken by a local tribe. The crew themselves were arrested by agents of Mercadia City, were freed under the agreement of training soldiers, and arrested again when Gerard learned the truth of what was going on between the people of Mercadia and the Choarium. After their second release from prison, Sese helped the others secure the bones of Ramos, artifacts that they believed to be compatible with the legacy. After another run-in with Volrath, who had been disguised as Takara the entire time, the crew managed to escape Mercadia upon the recovered and improved weatherlight. On Dominaria, the long-feared Phyrexian invasion had begun, and Sese captained her flying skyship from battle to battle, fighting against the servants of Yogmoth. The Weatherlight proved to be a valuable weapon during these battles, though it was almost destroyed when it came under attack by the primeval dragons, who had become offended at the sight of another object flying in their skies. After recovering from the damage caused by Ramadaragas, the Weatherlight assisted in putting down the other primevals, with Sisse eventually ramming her ship into Croesus, forcing him back into his tar pit stasis. Not long after, Yogmoth manifested onto Dominaria as a black cloud of death. Sese initially tried ramming the Weatherlight into Dominaria's Null Moon, hoping that the White Mana that had been accumulating there would be enough to slay the Ineffable. While Yogmoth was damaged, it was not enough, and the Weatherlight crew soon found themselves surrounded on all sides by Yogmoth, firing their weapons and desperately fighting off his encroachment. In the end, Urza and Gerard sacrificed themselves to activate the legacy weapon, channeling the power of the artifacts Sisse had collected through Karn, causing a blast of brilliance that utterly annihilated Yogmoth. As the weatherlight began to crash, unable to handle all the power that had been unleashed through it, Sese smiled, having finally achieved revenge on the Lord of the Wastes. After the invasion, Sese and the other survivors of her crew were hailed as heroes, with the captain being gifted a new skyship, one that she titled The Victory. Alongside Tongarth and Squee, Sese took off, continuing her adventures across Dominaria. 
Sese is one of the central characters to the Weatherlight Saga, being a major supporting character from the Mirage story up until the end of the Invasion story. Rescuing her was the main goal of the Tempest block, and she continued to be a major player up until Yogmoth's defeat. Long after her death, Sese's beloved Weatherlight would be pulled up from the oceans and repaired, gaining a new crew among its members, Sese's own descendant, Shana. Captain Sese first appeared back in Invasion, costing two generic mana, a green mana, and a white mana. This 2-2 legendary human soldier had an ability that perfectly represented Sisei's knack for gathering legendary crew members. You could tap her to search your library for any legendary card and put it into your hand. Sisei later received a retrained version in Sisei, Weatherlight Captain, which had an updated, arguably more powerful, version of her original ability. Having so recently gotten a new card, it's doubtful that we'll be seeing more cards representing this captain anytime soon. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like or sharing this video with your friends. If you're a fan of the Weatherlight, its crew, or the Weatherlight Saga as a whole, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. I'll be releasing more videos on this topic. Finally, this video is brought to you by my patrons. If you enjoy my work and would like to support me, head on over to my Patreon. A link to it will be in the description below. Thanks again, and have a great day.